Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome once again to uh, Gateway to the Savage Frontier. We've still got to figure out where to where to get all of our people rezzed. I think I got to go further back. I don't want to abandon the boat. I, th I think I may have to... Is there a place in Loudwater to get them raised? Give me a second. Is there a temple in Loudwater? There is not. Nor is there one in Lork. Um, there is one in Gunderland. I think that's out on the river. Yarter. Maybe. I gotta go back by by uh, shore on that one. Isn't there like just a way out? Yeah, let's let's just go through town. I want to deal with these random encounters. Man, that's a lot of them, too. It's like, yes, yeah, time for, for bacon, but... Go ahead with a fireball. Got to put them down one by one, I guess. I'm still way overloaded, but that's going to change when I raise everybody. That's... Alright. No, Yarcher is up here, right? Yeah, let's enter Yarcher. It's been so long here, I can't remember where the temples are. There we go, Temple of Tomorrow. Yeah, let's pool stuff. Let's uh, heal. Raise dead. Wait, let's take a look. Constitution of 16. And yeah, it does reduce it. Alright, let's take our jewelry, gems, gold, and Victor, you can take the platinum. And we got some... There's a training hall here, right? Yeah. Let's train the characters. Victor. Marie. Level 5 fighter. Marie. Level 6 thief. And Krevish. Level 4 fighter. And there should be an inn. Alright, hold on. 
Let's fix the group. All right, now that we're all fixed up, now we head back all the way back down to star mounts. Oh my god, that's a long way away. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Got to go through the other side. <sighs> All the way cross country. I think I can... I, I need to rent the boat from here. Flee the Ettons. Oh, are the Ettons. All right, where are they coming from? Move my casters in here so they can't be one shotted. All right, there they are. It's whittling away at this one. Yeah, and Ettons do hit kind of like trucks, but they don't honestly have that many hit points, if I remember right. I guess I could look. Forty-six hit points. Yeah, that's not terrible, and their AC is not great. They do get two really good attacks. All right, you gonna come up to me? Last one. Oh, apparently, we're not going to. You got hung up on some trees. Yep, just fleeing in panic. I'm not going to chase him down. Watch, he's going to get stuck in some trees or something. No, I don't want to block his escape. Just let him escape. Oh my god. There we go. Oh, oh well. Sorry, Etten. I tried. I tried to be reasonable. Yeah, let's head up to the mountaintops. The Aracocra land just inside a small alcove hidden in the side of a rocky pinnacle. Farther than this we cannot go, they tell you. We wish that you would not be stranded here, and we'll wait for you as long as we can. Zemi peers down the corridor. This would probably be a good place to rest and memorize any spells we may need. Who knows how long it'll be before we're in a safe place deeper within the mountain. All right. Proper mountain crawl. So we're going to left. The party stops in place. Hovering in the corridor ahead of you, 
is the ghostly image of a beautiful woman. Her hair is midnight. Her black as midnight hair flowing majestically over her shoulders. You record her words as journal entry 54. Journal entry 54. Septian's welcome. Welcome to my home, the mage said, smiling. My name is Septian, and I know that you are here to steal the Statue of the South from me. She wa She waited for the effect of this proclamation to take hold. You have proven yourselves worthy adversaries to have gotten this far, and I enjoy the challenge of a clever enemy. I shall kill you, yes, that much is certain, but I shall give you a chance to find the object that you see. A great crystal globe beside her flickered to life, and the statue had appeared within it. My fortress here has many portals. Twelve now stand between you and your objective. I shall follow your movements with interest. She smiled once more, and the image faded from you. Hmm. I guess I should go explore this one. The party barely enters this room before a hellhound's snarling face leaps to see me. Not a problem. Kind of take it down real quick. Take that gems. Oh, there's that. Bash this open. Ahead of you, Sepatine's image coalesces once again. Ah, here you are, she says pleasantly. This is such a long, straight corridor. No surprises could possibly ever lie this way. Her laughing face fades away. A great roaring noise, like the sound of a great waterfall, comes from somewhere to the north. The corridor echoes strangely. Could it be coming from the south? This room is open to the sky and holds two dragons. One speaks, Ah, to me falls the pleasure of destroying you. Now Septian will choose me as her favorite, and I will carry her to battle. Okay, well. Ah, you know what you're going to do? You're going to eat a fireball? I would like to take this thing down before it breathes on me. Ouch! Well, so much for crevish. That was not terrible. Poor Krevish, though. He just ate a face full of acid. I, I left him dead so long, and he got up, and then just immediately got melted by dragons. 4,000 gold! I'm going to have to leave it all. Keep your money in platinum, please. What happens, uh, can I fix the party? Yes, I can. Oh, not, not terrible. Actually, you know what? Checking to see if there's any doors along this car door. Not seeing any. Oh, 
already been that way. Much of this room is dark, but the flapping of wings you hear is unmistakable. All right, we're going to cast a fireball. Right on you, Medusa. Going to cast a fireball. Right on you, Medusa. Let him come to me. What are you fleeing? In? Oh, god damn it! The Medusa is fleeing, or not the Medusa? The the Griffin is fleeing. Had to go mage kill it. Not bad money. Get her spells back. <sighs> I guess I'm just following the right hand wall all the way through. The translucent image of Septian appears ahead of you. So how do you like my little home? She asked, laughing. Charity picks up a loose stone and throws it at the projection, which fades from view. A nest of straw and twigs sits in the far corner of this room, and three griffins rush forward to protect it. Aw, oh, they're just trying to defend their, their nest. Kind of whittle them down like this. Oh no! I did not mean to guard there. Oh my god, that one's fleeing. Great. <laughs> Gotta go after it. Okay, he got away. Good. Good, good, good. I will take the platinum and the jewelry. First of all, I'm going to fix the party. I'm going to turn on search mode. All right. Next up, still following the right-hand wall, I guess. This large room holds ogres and griffins. Both run to the attack as the party opens the door. Go ahead and start with a fireball. Hmm. Not a terrible one. Since I'm going to have to rest anyway, I'm going to drop another fireball on him. I got it. They have normal sized uh, chairs and tables in here.
fix the party. Alright, continuing onward. Following the right hand wall, there's like no way I'm getting out of here properly. Septian appears once more. This place is very special to me, she says. It is part of my initial and all three runes that form the pattern for the floor plan of my home here. She's gone a moment later. The ceiling of this room is open to the sky, and two black dragons have just landed. They look at the party, look at each other, and then look back at you again. We're going to cast a, a fireball on them. I'm going to cast another fireball on them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that should whittle them down a bit. There we go. Oh my god! Victor just took the acid blast right to the face. You know what? I'm going to take this thing down quick. I will take oh, a thousand platinum. Take all the treasure. Septian's image appears, hovering over the slain dragons. She laughs in defiance. You think you have slain my personal dragon? Ha! These are but their but guards. Far greater perils await you if you persist. She vanishes. I mean, I'm killing all your dragons. Heal the party up. Memorize my spells again. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not seeing anything through search. Two ogres rush across the room to attack you, but there's something else moving behind them. What else? Oh, Medusa. Nothing that a couple fireballs can't solve. We're gonna go ahead and drop a fireball on. Them. Gonna drop a fireball on you. I'm not gonna take any uh, any chances with the Medusa. And once more, we're gonna fix the party. All right, nothing in there. All right, next up. Wait, this is... This is exactly where I came from. Yeah. Is this just going back to the main door? Following the right-hand wall... No, I don't I don't want to leave the mountain. Well, I know it can't be that close to the beginning. I gotta find a way through here. Go 
kind of wall humping to try and find the, if there's any secret doors. Am I seriously going to have to look this one up? Alright, hold on. So I've dealt with those, dealt with those. I haven't dealt with those. So wait, where where am I nearest to? Hold on. Ten dash eight. So I've, I've uh, ten dash ten, eleven dash ten is where I'm. Okay, this is the closest one. Return to four three. None of these. All right, other side. Oh, my, my bad. Um, this is not where I need to be. Oh, there's a secret door here. That's what. Septian's projected imagery uh, reappears. Well done, my clever enemies, says the smiling beauty. One door discovered, 11 more to find. She laughs gleefully, then darkens into nothingness. There's 11 secret doors. Seriously. One corner of this room holds several large... No, those aren't birds. Those are griffins. I mean... I'm just going to fireball them. Once again, that's a few griffins, not several. I thought there were way more than that. There we go. Once more, I'll be taking that platinum and that jewelry. And fixing the party. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start properly following this walkthrough because apparently there's a lot of secret doors and such and i'll admit i really don't like doing it but oh well okay there's a door at eight three to three griffins all right took you take this one get west to five four to fight griffins and hellhounds but i don't need to southwest again there's a door at nine dash six Well, the door south at nine three. I, I I messed up already. Hold on. I'm gonna cast fireball. One, two, three, four. That was a weak fireball. Oh, 
You want to like, you know, take this thing down, please? Thank you. I'm... I'll take everything. All right. So you take the door south. And then take a door east at 9-6. There they are, says a high-pitched voice. Just like she said, they was coming this way. That's what she said. Yeah, that's what she said. Oh, God. Is this... Are there freaking goblins and such in here? No, no, there's ogres. Okay. I'll be uh, dropping a fireball your direction. That won't catch quite everybody. Alright, just finish these guys off, please. Oh, there's a couple more ogres. Okay. One of them's got to be close to dead. Well, there's a surrender. Come on, can we actually hit these? Is everybody just getting uh, real encumbered again? Yeah, everybody's getting super encumbered again. Give me those gems. All right. Take the door at 10-4. Ignore the north door and continue forward at 12-6. The right way forward is south. The door at 12-3 is a one-way door. The eerie floating projection of Septian fills the, the car, fills the car door. Your persistence, says the disembodied voice, but you have begun to bore me. I've asked my friends to end this game. Unsmiling, she fades away. All right, and I'm not going to read the whole thing. I was just, there's like one-way doors and such. Which I think I just passed through. Yeah. I'm all the way back here. I was following... I was following a guide and I still messed up. Take the door at 10 4. <sighs> All right, we got a. Oh, crap. 
I almost got gaze attacked. I'm gonna take them all down. They are definitely trying to uh, stone me, so. I will take the gems, I will leave the platinum this time. South and West. Ignore. Okay. And just following the directions. Got to go through here. This room smells terrible. The ogres run forward to attack you, but they aren't the source of smell. Oh, okay. Harpies. Harpies. All right, that's cool. There's an ogre and two harpies. Great. I thought there was way more than that. Oh, there's two ogres. Come on. Oh, no. Victor was charmed. Victor gonna slaughter me. Ouch. Did it undo the charm on Victor, please? No, it did not. Oh no. Cast a spell magic. All right, good. Get my party uh, fixed up and get all our stuff rememorized. Okay, so hold on a second. Just looking it up. I think this guy this guy may have some typos in it. Oh, never mind. Here we go. Septian's image suddenly appears. I will crush you, she proclaims, full of fury. I will puncture your hearts with my boot heel as I stride across your carcasses. You cannot stop me. She dissolves away. All right. That seems a little bit threatening. Bash this door. Oh, no. go all right so apparently this door right here 
is to the boss. So we will go ahead and step through. Or maybe not. Oh my god. Oh no, I'm way out here. That's not what I need to do. Oh no, I'm completely lost. I messed up bad. Okay, well, I, I saved outside the boss room. <sighs> Supposedly. I can't remember now. Hold on. Give me a moment. Okay. So, uh, um, eight dash three door south at to nine dash three. All right. Hold on a second. Head south again to 9-4. Uh, door east at 5. Head to 9 6. Um, door at 10 4. Alright. Continue forward to 12 6. South and then west. Uh, to, thir to 12. No. At nine seven and keep heading west. No wait, what? Okay, ignore the door at nine seven and keep heading west. Wait. What? Wait, what the hell? All right. Sorry, this is like completely stupid. South and west. South and then west. Um, if, uh, head south at this and then go to 7 Eleven. All right. Keep taking the doors west. So at this point, you basically keep going west. until 410 then head north to 48 and this has got to be it so you know what i'm going to do is i'm going to save it here and we're going to fight this next time this has been the rpg crawler with uh gateway to the savage frontier and a maze thank you very much yeah there was no way i was going to do this without any reasonable amount of time without walkthrough until next time take care and goodbye and if you are still watching, I would like to take the opportunity to thank my supporters, the top tiers of which are listed on the screen, without whose support I would not have been able to offer the variety of content that I have on this channel throughout the years. If you're feeling particularly generous and would like to join them, you can support the channel. There are a variety of options to do so. I have a Patreon, a Subscribestar, as well as channel memberships enabled. If you are not in a position to contribute, simply leaving a like, a comment, or sharing my videos are all wonderful ways to help the channel grow without spending a dime, and are all greatly appreciated.